Welcome to episode 26 of the Lightning Run. I'm your host, Lightning. And I'm uh, your other host, R. A.R. R. I'm a pirate. <laughs> Go with A.R. I'm a pirate. And as always, the Lightning Round is sponsored by Philly Games and their new game, Welcome to Ponyville. <laughs> Be sure to check out Act 1, which is um, out on their website, www.phillygames.com. Dot ponies, which is a thing now, apparently. I had no idea about that. Did you read that on Equestria Daily? No. You didn't read that Dot Ponies is an actual domain name? Really? Yes, I... it is. <laughs> Equestria? Yeah. I actually did not hear about that. but That that's is like... on Equestria Daily. There is a Dot Ponies. What is on this Dot Ponies? One second, and I shall go and find out. Equestria Daily is right here on my super fast laptop. I can surf the web with a surfboard made of lead. I, I don't know where I was going with that. All right. So, yeah. Uh, my internet's not as fast as my laptop, though. So, anyways. Going down to... That's an animation of Final Scratch. It's from Wallpapers, which I downloaded a new wallpaper and I'm using right now. Uh, draw friends stuff, vocal stuff. Crap, it's an older post. How dare you, Equestria Daily, have older stuff. Here it is. Ponies invade Google webma- Google's Webmaster FAQ cl- uh, page. I was going to say collection for some reason. Apparently, Dot Ponies as a domain name is a thing because Google is totally sporting it over on their Webmaster Frequently Asked Questions page. More specifically, .com, .org, .gov, and dot .ponies. Does my top-level domain impact my site's performance in search? I don't know. Anywho, uh, that's all it is really. Just that dot .ponies thing. There's not much else to it. And yeah, that's about it. Actually, I did see that post. I didn't read the the thing, so but but I did see that. Um, so I guess that that's that's interesting. Um, we'll have to see where that goes because I'm sure there's so much stuff on the internet now with with ponies in it that I mean it it, it should be a thing. You know, dot ponies is is probably important with. How much information there is going around right now? Yes, indeedy. So, why don't we uh, start off with the episode review for this week? No. Okay. All right. Sleepless in Ponyville, episode six of, of season, season three. three. So, premise for the episode is Scootaloo episode. Yay, finally. Finally, exactly. Now, they've mentioned on EQD that this was supposed to be something from last season. Um, yeah, which makes sense. I mean, honestly, there was lacking of a Scootaloo episode already, and more development with Rainbow Dash sort of thing, because it was already her idol. There wasn't much development in that sort of relationship, I guess. So, it makes sense they would have had this in Season 2 to me. Right. So, I mean... When we start off the episode, I, I like the fact that they start off with Rainbow Dash right away. I'm not exactly sure what the coins she has are for. Uh huh. But um, it, you know, it, it's it's interesting to just see her right away to start off the episode. Hmm. Maybe she was gonna go buy something. No way. Perhaps. Like maybe the drink she had when she was flying by Scootaloo. Who is that? Just a thought. Um, right here. No. Now then, yes, like we said, this the premise of the episode is a Scootaloo episode. Scootaloo wants to hang out with Rainbow Dash because Rainbow Dash said an awesome compliment about Scootaloo. Who wouldn't say an awesome compliment about Scootaloo? So, what happens here is she's talking with her friends, Apple Bloom and Sweet Bell. Apple Bloom states that maybe you can join Apple blah, 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 Apple. and I on a, on a camping trip. I can't speak right now. It is late at night, but no, I should be able to speak. I'm an owl. So... She brings up this camping trip idea. Excuse me, that's a great idea. Sweetie Bells, I want to go. <laughs> and my favorite line comes in where she's, okay, Rarity, you go too. Rarity loves camping. The, and Rarity, you know, I despise camping. The, the funny thing is there, I don't know about you, but the, the thing that I heard is when I, when I was listening to this was, yes, Rarity loves to jump up and down. Huh. I just, 
I just laughed. I really love camping. I despise camping! <laughs> sort of thing. But, um... Anyways, back to the premise. So, they go on the camping trip. Rainbow Dash begins to tell some scary stories. Scootaloo becomes scared of scary stories. Getting a little, bit, getting, getting a little bit ahead of yourself there, aren't you? No. The funny thing well, is we're just that... Gonna, we're, well, we're, well, well, well blah, 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 blah. right now, we're just given the basic idea of the story. We're just given the premise. They go camping. Rainbow Dash tells some, some scary stories at night. Uh, Scootaloo gets scared. We're not going over the episode in detail because everyone's seen it. At least I'm pretty sure. There's probably like one person who hasn't seen it. <laughs> it's the guy commenting right now, making fun of us. <laughs> well, right. We're not going to go over it in detail, but, I mean, there was a couple of things. Um, well, we can we can go over favorite parts of the episode in, in a little bit anyway. Um, so she gets scared of these scary stories that Rainbow Dash is, is uh, telling and the the, the hard You've thing got my the hard thing horseshoe. Yes. Right. <laughs> anyway, um, Applejack and Rarity are there with Sweetie Belle and and Apple Bloom, and I think the main uh, the, the main problem here is that they're not afraid of this because they got their sisters there with them. Now, granted, Scooby is staying with Rainbow Dash, but is not, you know, being. I, I guess you could say comforted as much. No, because she's not related to Rainbow Dash, so there's no sort of big sister relationship going on with that. So she gets these nightmares um, and has to pretty much suffer through them every single night. Um, that's where Luna comes in. And Luna! We'll get. We'll talk more about that in, in a little bit. But she basically says, you know, you need to face your fears, and we find out that her real fear is just telling Rainbow Dash the not truth. looking cool in front of Rainbow right. Dash because she wants Rainbow Dash to, you know, take her under her wing and like be her big sister and cool stuff right. like that. And at the end of the episode, uh, you know, obviously when when Rainbow Dash saves Scootaloo, she does actually have that that scene with Rainbow Dash, um, where she tells her the truth. Says, "I you know I, I want you to be like my big sister. I want you to take me under your wing, and I want you to teach me everything you know." And I mean, you would think Rainbow Dash would have seen this coming. No, she's not very bright. Well, sometimes let's go with oblivious. Right, works too. Anywho. Um, anyway. The basic, uh, the, the, the uh, episode ends with her and, and Rainbow Dash flying together. Obviously, Rainbow Dash is holding her when they're flying. But it, it, it's, it's um, something that I'm really looking forward to seeing more of this season, seeing if they continue this trend, if um, we see those two together a little bit more often. And if there's one thing that this episode did in particular that was really good is the continuity, because there was tons, tons of continuity in this episode. Because, obviously, a lot of the interactions between Sweetie Belle and Rarity were a shout back to uh, Sisterhood Social. Yay. You know, because the the whole scene with her and Rarity at the beginning where she's, where she's like, you know, well, if you don't want to spend time with me, and she does the little pouty face. And, uh, of course, that gets Rarity to go with her. And, you know, I, I really enjoyed that uh, little reference to past episodes. Um, they also had a quick reference to the Sonic Rain Boom because Scootaloo was recounting the, uh, the the story about Rarity losing her wings and Rainbow Dash having to go and uh, save her. Mm-hmm. Yes, that did happen. Which, it was the best story ever, personally, <laughs> for me. So, Luna. Luna! Luna made an appearance in this episode, which was actually pretty much... Uh, at least I, I hadn't heard anything about that at all. I, I think it was a surprise to most people that Luna was going to be in this episode. 
Yeah, when I saw the clip from, like, Luna, I see you! Yeah, in the very first Nightmare, she's just... She's just in the <laughs> I was pointing there. at my And I was watching it with my that. friend, because I'm like... Hey, the first thing I said was, did I miss something here? I mean, is, is all of a sudden... Is, is it canon that she can go into dreams now? Because we've seen this before. If I'm not mistaken, I can't think of one right off the top of my head, but there were fanfics that were written where she could go into people's dreams. Um... Uh, Ponies, not people. And my friend doesn't read m- many fanfics, and he said he hadn't heard anything about it. So I, I would assume that uh, this was the first time we've ever seen it canon before. Yep. The thing is, she's called Nightmare Moon. She was right. called Nightmare Moon. So it gives you reason maybe to think... Nightmares relating to Nightmare Moon, possibly canonized sort of thing in a jiggy. But that's all theories of me throwing out a bunch of words out of my mouth at you guys right. in the face. So, right. Um, I also wanted to note that the headless horse story. Um, Pony. it's the the funny thing about that is that it was Rainbow Dash telling it to Applejack and Rarity. Well, Applejack and Rarity would have already heard this story because it was the exact same story that they heard in the uh, Look Before You Sleep episode. Actually, actually, in um, Look Before You Sleep, Twilight told the Headless Horse. Rainbow Dash told the Headless Pony. I don't think so. I think it was still called the Headless Horse, wasn't it? No, it was called Mm, the Headless Pony. Okay, well, maybe it was different, but I... I I well, either way, that's probably why Applejack more nonchalant. Well, where's it head? <laughs> I hate people who do that. I love people who do that because I'm of people course. who do that. Indeed. Um. <laughs> by the way, Rainbow Dash sleeping. Um, no. As much as I love Rainbow Dash, that way she's she's not a very graceful sleeper. No, but that's why she's one of my she's my favorite. She's not a graceful sleeper, and it just makes me laugh for some reason. And yes, I believe that is all. Well, sw- uh, wait, 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 wait. Sweetie Belle singing was adorable. Okay, all right, so now that's it. Who thought that, that was going to be a real song? You, you thought that was actually going to be a song? Because, I mean... And when we took in late at night under the cave and underneath the stars, I don't know, something along those lines with epic lyrics, star songs. The funny thing is that it's Sweetie Belle. And the singing is absolutely horrid. It's. Well, yeah. Intentionally. I mean. She was just excited. Have you ever been excited and just scream at the top of your lungs and sing something? I mean, you know, I I don't think I've ever heard Sweetie Belle sing bad. It seemed poorly, so it was just interesting to see. She did intentionally. Maybe. Well, and it was late at night, and she was all excited, and she got to sing some campfire song. Singular for a right. good reason. So, by the way, the, the, the falls, what was it called again? It was like... Duh, I don't I remember. I can't remember what, 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 what it was called, but... I'm thinking this is probably right below Clouds Zone, right? With the rain, with the mm, rainbow water. More than like, I think so. Yeah, maybe. I was thinking this is this is right below, right below Clouds Zone. Um, but ah, now that song Sweetie Belle sung is stuck in my head. So, with that in my head, I believe we shall continue on. Yeah, if that's I'm pretty correct. much all I had to talk about. Yay, talking. I guess uh, the only thing we need to talk about is just a score. What do you give it out of 10? Uh, Nine. Nine and a half. Reasons? (laughs) Skewly lost her scooter. Uh, Well, she lost like twice. Thrice. I don't even know. I mean, I I don't know anything. Right. Yes. I, as so. for me, I I say, oh, nine point five. I've got to give it a high score. I can't quite yeah. give it a ten, 
But I mean, just just the fact that they've got this relationship that personally I absolutely love. The, the, you know, this this relationship with Scootaloo and Rainbow Dash. Um, Luna making an appearance was absolutely wonderful as well. Um, so I, I I don't want to give it a ten, but it, it's definitely going to give get a high score from me. A lot of people don't like giving things 10. Well, I mean, if it was like a 10, anyway. I'd have to say it was the best episode ever in the yeah, in the world and it's, it was, it's just it's, not quite there. However, I do like Rainbow Dash setting up the can set in 10 seconds flat. That was sweet. With an epic yeah. tower too. And that about does it for the episode. I believe now we go to the news. Well, actually, well, there was one thing I wanted to do real quick before we got to that. Um, AR. Is it singing? Do we get a sing? Not, I want to no, sing. Can we sing? Singing. Please, singing. Oh. Happy birthday to you, Santa. This, no, Jesus. no. Santa Jesus. We've got, we've got at least Santa ten Jesus. days left. Santa Jesus is a new term like lamb children and... What are the other words I made up a long right. time ago? Anyway, AR. Oh, Jesus. Um, since you're going to be more of a uh, permanent uh, addition to, to the it's podcast, like initiation. Um, I'm going to take this opportunity to uh, get the people listening to learn a little bit more about you. Oh no! Oh no! I want you to, to tell us about yourself. Plug things that you're in. I mean, just what? just give us a give us a lowdown of exactly what is AR. Uh, I have to talk about myself. I, I feel like I'm in the spotlight, even though I don't have any spotlights in my bedroom. So. Me. Well, the name AR is truly unusual, and it actually does not stand for anything. As most people go, like, oh, AR, what's it stand for? I'm like, nothing. They're like, what? Nothing. What? Yeah, I'm like, exactly. Because it doesn't mean anything. AR is simply a name I came up with for a character back in 2009 or 10. Quite a while ago. Um, I created the name for a character of a YouTube series I made a long time ago, which I need to continue at some point eventually. And the name sort of just stuck to me personally. Um, for a while I went as Cabral95, because that's what I go as on Muffin Loving Productions, stuff like that. And uh, eventually I chose the name AR, because the group I was in started calling themselves by their characters in the series they were making that were related to mine. And it was actually a fairly big group I was in. But, um, so I went with the name AR, and it seemed to have stuck, so I stuck with that. So, that's been my name for the past year on Skype, almost a year now. And that's what everyone calls me now. So that's the name. What am I into? Well, bleh, video and film production is what I do. I do a lot of writing, too. That's fun. Storyboarding is fun, too. Well, why don't you tell us a little bit about AR and Delta? Oh, that thingy, yes. Um, For those of you who don't know, AR and Delta is a mystery adventure comedy series I'm working on. It'll be an audiobook. It is following AR, my pony Sona, and Delta, Delta's pony Sona. Yeah, I know, we were so creative with the names, but AR and Delta just seemed to fit. The series itself is reminiscent of, like, it's composed of elements from Doctor Who and Sherlock Holmes. The co-writer and I, uh, not Delta, Delta didn't co-write it with me, wanted to have that sort of feeling to it, like those shows had. So we've implemented running. There is a lot of running in these series, mostly Delta and Air running for their lives. There is a lot of mystery in these series, hence the Sherlock Holmes thing, where Air has no idea what's going on, but then again, he's clueless most often. Delta isn't with the brains, but Air just happens to stumble upon, upon, huh, upon things and have an excessive amount of luck. So you're following these two characters from the city of Baltimore, and there is much mayhem in Baltimore, 
surprisingly, it's one of the more dangerous cities in Equestria. Not too terribly dangerous like gun shooting every day because ponies don't have guns. So, it's not too terribly dangerous. But, there's a couple things that go on. Maybe kidnapping, possibly murder, stuff like that. So, Air and Delta are often called to solve the case. I'm not going to give much more away about that because I don't want to give away the series. It will be an audiobook series coming out after AR and Delta um, animated short comes out. There will be an animated short for this series. And it is in progress right now and should be done around Christmas New Year's time actually if, um, if it keeps going at this pace. And that's that series. Um, let's see. Yes, I am, let's see, I'm a part of Muffin Loving Productions, since we're those few of you who know about it. And that's a Let's Play channel for pony games, watching and reviews of My Little Pony episodes, and soon to be home of AR and Delta. And, yeah. So what about your role in uh, Philly Games? <laughs> I do voice acting for Philly Games, people. I um, I am voicing Shining Armor and Fancy Pants as well. Uh, as well. Well, yeah, I guess as well works in that terminology. Sentence structure, stuff like that. Um, that's about it. And that's about all I can give away. So I do voice acting for them. And anything else in community I do, I do Let's Plays of Pony Games with um, on Muffin Lemon Productions, which has gotten us decently well known. 500 subscribers isn't too bad. Um, we are actually, uh, Pim Arthur and I, who is Delta, are the official walkthrough for the new um, My Little Pony Rise of the Clockwork Stallions coming out. We are the official uh, walkthrough and Let's Play of that. Whenever that releases. I actually haven't heard of anything about that one. And. Yeah. That's uh, made oh, okay. by the people who made Magic Shards. Yeah. So they're making this new game. And. Um, Muffin Island Productions is the official walkthrough. Of it. So. Which is pretty neat. Alright. That's about it. Simple man. With simple voices. And eccentric. Blah. Alright. That right. doesn't work. But so Yes. Now that we know a little bit more about the co-host, why don't we talk a little bit about the news that's been going on. First of all, uh, episode 7. Wonderful to Academy. Yes. For those of you who... Yes. For those of you who do not like spoilers, there are leaks around, so do your best to avoid those until Saturday. But for those of you who want to see the episode right now and here... We're not going to provide a link, so good luck finding it. You should be able to find this on YouTube, so it's not too hard to find. But since it is leaked, there is no HD version until Saturday. Yeah, that, that, that's probably why I'm going to be waiting that's mostly cool. anyway, is because I want to see it in HD if I'm going to see it. HD! Plus, I'm planning to, uh, I'm planning to get that's together yes. with other people in the area to watch it anyway, so... Woo! Um, another thing that uh, was interesting, uh, EQLA has uh, just um, oh, yeah. and it announced that they're doing more registration. Now, it was funny because they said that they're uh, going to do their um, next, uh, they're going to do their next uh, convention on May 10th. That was. That was I mean, we're really quick. A That's six like... month turnaround here. Usually these happen once a year. We got a crush of LA in November, and now all of a sudden May is when when they said it's going to happen again. Yeah, that was quick. I didn't even go to. Um, I didn't go to crush of LA, and you I'm in California, should. so. <laughs> Nah, I'll go to Fiesta Equestria. I already right. promised Delta I'd go to that. So one. registration for that is open. Uh, Yay. So definitely check that out if you are in the California area and actually want to go. Yes, I won't be there, so if you want to visit me, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be signing autographs there. I'll be in Equestria, Fiesta Equestria. In Texas. Yes. Uh, in Texas. I like sorry. the fact that um, they've mentioned that the Derpy toy 
um, for the holidays is the fourth most searched toy of 2012. Mm. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not exactly that. sure what beat it out, though, this year. It says Webcam Toy, Elmo Toy, and Cody Toy are one, two, and three. Um, Ooh. Not sure what they mean by a webcam toy. Um, maybe it's similar to, like, the eye toy with the PlayStation, if you remember those. For those of you who are <laughs> older than 15, um, if you remember the eye toy for the PlayStation 2, you remember oh, yeah. that, right? Oh, uh, I remember the eye toy. I actually had one with my friends. Did. Yeah, maybe it's something... I had one. I always like flicking the little figures running at you. But, um, maybe it's reminiscent of those. not 100% sure. I have no idea what I'm talking about. So. Ponies win another uh, contest. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, was that the uh, TV.com uh, one? TV Guide had a poll um, for TV best guide. fans. And uh, Ponies actually won that one. We actually managed to break ahead of Doctor Who. Which I thought was very which interesting. Second, I'm, I'm which I was glad. I'm like, good. At least Doctor we Who came in second. That much... Ahead of uh, uh, Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Because that's a huge fan base. And even though, I mean, there's a little bit of crossover oh, there. Oh, yeah. But still. Yeah, that's true. Now, one thing that I found very interesting um, was... I can't see My hair? your hair. But okay, a couple... Then days ago it was it was either really early this week or it was last week uh, uh, late last week um there was actually a, an announcement from dhx saying that they're actively searching for animators oh yeah I remember reading that. So, for those of you who have the ability to create moving cartoons that can throw pies at each other, eat fish, and juggle balls, then you are right up the alley for DHX. Go and sign up now at some application things, neither at the location or on their website, more than likely. And, sadly, you know, we don't the, have links. The funny thing is that, uh, unless I mean, things. My Little Pony was listed on there as part of the, the thing that, they, that they're looking for help. Which is why well, it was yeah. on the question daily and, in the first place. I mean, place. It, it's it, it's interesting because this fan this fandom is absolutely great at um, creating animations and stuff like that. I've seen some absolutely great ones. Yeah, same here. There's insane amounts of stuff. I'm looking at e- uh, Question Daily's total page views right now, which it's more than this right now, but it is hundred. More than that right now, definitely, when you're watching this. But um, I remember when they just got 200 million, or was it 2 million? I think it was that 2 million. Um, I don't think it was ever that low when I was looking at it. I mean, I remember when they hit 150 million. I think I've seen below that. Then again, I joined the fan base around February. It was about the same time for me, too. February of this year? Yeah, it was about about that time that I got into it as well. Anyways, it got a lot more views, and it's really, really, really high on counts right now. Oh, yeah. And it'll keep going up higher and higher. So, I have a question for you. Being that you're doing a whole bunch of, like, um... Uh, game playthroughs and stuff like that. Have you seen the game that they brought out for um, Trixie with the uh, at the Rock Farm? I've yeah, seen I actually it. took I a look at that, that and she's mining rocks and at the same time trying to dodge wheels. And huh. uh, it's actually pretty Interesting. funny. Interesting. Uh, and at the same time, it's. Uh, Different. <laughs> you have to get like a, I think you said, they said you have to get like a million oh, points uh, in order to get like a special ending or whatever. And the best I could do was like 
three hundred some thousand or whatever. I bet I can get two thousand. Okay. Easily. Uh, you, you should realize, if you ever watch our Muffin Love Productions Let's Plays, I'm not a very good gamer. And if you watch Delta when Surefire's here, he's not a very good gamer. So there's no way uh, in Equestria we're going to beat this game. Uh, I, I'll just fail miserably and everyone will laugh in the process, which I won't mind because I like being laughed at. When it's in a way I can laugh at myself also. Like all those stupid noises I made in our Mega Pony Let's Play. I don't if think you I saw, saw your Mega Pony playthrough. Oh, that was hilarious. I kept making stupid noises. It was funny. Like, whenever I jumped, I went... <laughs> eh, eh, eh. Oh, Every God. time I jumped, I did that. And it just went on from there. Like, whenever I shot, I went... Pew! Yeah, it, it it was comical. Then I kept dying. I mean, I got 42 deaths and Delta got 43, so I was happy that I beat him by one death. Surefire got 11. But still... And then, yeah, it was funny because I, I beat Rainbow Dash in 20-odd minutes. Surefire beat the first the entire first part of the game, the entire game, actually, that was available to us in 20 minutes. I then beat Rainbow Dash. By then, he was starting on the second level again for the second time through. Delta was already on the second level. By the time I got near the end of the second level, Surefire beat the entire game by three times in a row. Delta finally beat the second level, which was the last level for him because he went out of order. Either way, I ended up in last, but so still got less deaths. Surefire than is a good gamer. Okay. Yes, he is. Now, he, he, okay. I've been really surprised with how much publicity the foreign My Little Pony shows are getting. Um, because, first of all... Well, no, they they, they, they have They're an foreign. announcement from Galakon. Now, granted, Galakon is going to be held in Europe. But they've actually got Michael Pan, who is the German version of Discord. I haven't heard that part yet, but I mean, you know, uh, a German Discord sounds kind of interesting, I I'd have to say. <laughs> well, all, all I can hear is yelling. <laughs> that's all that's going through my head. Whenever I think of the German language, I honestly yeah. only well, think that's of the yelling. That's, that's me, though. <laughs> Which is, good day, sir. How are you? Well, no. Sort of thing. Along the same lines with foreign um, stuff, a couple of weeks ago, or, yeah, probably a couple of weeks ago now, um, they had the Swedish yeah. Spitfire that everyone absolutely loves. Um, she put out a recording for Spitfire Licious. And that has been animated what? now. Uh, what? Yes. What? Oh, yeah. I, I, I need um, to go that see one this. was good. Um, and it's it's almost like the um, Swedish Spitfire is almost becoming like Terra Strong now, just with how in interactive she is huh. with the fan base. Interesting. Granted, she has the sexiest voice on the earth, Who but wouldn't be this still. Ch uh, of course people are going to get interactive with a fan base like this. What other fan base is there like this besides possibly the, I was going to say Avatar Last Airbender one, but actually no, Legend of Korra might have a similar fan base to this. A little bit. No, again, have you seen I know that a lot of bronies are, will watch that. I just haven't had a chance to. I mean... I was never, I was never into Avatar. Really? You? you... <gasps> How dare you? How dare get get off? Get out! Get out of the call right now. We're ending this uh, this podcast. Get out but right now. I'm not saying I wouldn't like it. I'm just saying I haven't ever <laughs> tried it. Well, you should. It's American. Uh, so who is Katie Cook? 
What? Oh, oh, that's Big Apple you're looking at. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, oh, wait, there it is. is. Katie no, Cook, wait, that's not is she it. the one I'm that does the, uh, the the um, the comic series, right? That's right. I remember that now. Yeah. Well, I Which know. I, I would like to get one, all. but I haven't had a chance. To... Any of it. Now, is yeah, is the I comic mean, series know, based it, off the know, show? I don't know the idea is. Is it canon, it, or is it just like... Uh, is it canon, or... No, I think it's off canon. Okay. No, like is I said, Katie Cook is, make it is, is one of the main people behind it, okay. and this is completely third party. Um, and I don't, I don't know if they've got official sponsor by um, Hasbro or not. I don't know Wait, if they now? have an I'd official like sponsorship <laughs> with with um, with uh, DHS. Oh, or... I see. Right, I'm not sure if they have a sponsorship with My Little Pony. Yeah, but... I'm gonna stop talking like that because it gets annoying. But uh, um, well, it's like hoity-toity. Yeah, yeah, that's hoity-toity. Is it hoity-toity? Yeah, I think it is. Yes. Um. But yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I know, I'd like sure to get my hands on one. They're like three bucks. I, you know, I, just... I, I should probably uh, put it in an order That's for one it? and see what it's like. You know what? I still want to get a hold of that Rainbow Dash <laughs> sports drink. You know, I'm going to go that. order one it's right now. Um, I'm going to go order one right now. I have money in my bank account. It's supposed to be Even though I should like be saving for a Fiesta Equestria. The same flavor as like a, a Cherry Icy. Yeah, I know. I like cherry ices. Well, it, oh, it's, it's uncaffeinated. Stupid. But Whatever. I'm going to buy no. one. I thought I thought it had caffeine in it, but it was uncarbonated, or I don't know. Eh, maybe I don't know. I'm going to find out right now. But right. I'm going to buy one in the middle of this podcast. So I'm going to be yes, and it should come in the mail in three to five weeks. By then, it'll be sale. And may have many dents in it. So, wish me yeah. luck. Oh, it's, it's only eight. three bucks? Sweet, I'm going to buy one. Add to car. Do I need an account here? I think I need one. Um, Anywho. Right. Yeah, back to the um, Here's something oh, interesting. Uh, apparently a new Epic Pony Rap Battle has come out. Granted, I don't think this is part of um, Mike the Microphone's series. I don't know if it is either, but it will. Iron Girl versus it. the core of this time. Well done. I and, enjoyed it. You know, it's funny yeah. because Black Griffin yes, is Iron Yes, it was well done. I haven't heard his impression. I don't know how good he is at it. It was. It wasn't bad. Now, it was pretty good. The Much other, better than my Iron Will. Um, which how is, do you say her first name? Much. Yeah, Zakora is the voice actor. Zakora. I I Lee. Oh. It. It, I'm, I'm gonna say Eileen, just because I'm, I'm not exactly sure how to say Eileen Monty. Um, is relatively new. I remember uh, Saber Spark put in huge um, sponsorship for her and was really, really uh, uh, gaining hype for her. And she has an absolutely amazing voice. Um, granted, the the rap battle isn't. You know, a a good singing voice isn't necessarily needed for a rap battle. But I've heard her sing other songs. Uh, I know that her cover for um, "Lullaby for a Princess" was absolutely amazing. That was great. That is I that, love, that song that is, is absolutely amazing. I love that song. Um, apparently, uh, Eurobeat Brony has. Uh, also brought out an, uh, some new songs. Um, I don't know if his volume three of Super Pointy Beat has come out yet or not. But um, but uh, his uh, Bab Seed remix is going to be uh, added into that as well. 
Yay, Babsy, which it was. is one of some of really my favorite song. songs of season three so far. I'm hoping for more. Okay, okay. It's actually you can tell me if there's a yes. song in the next episode. Damn it. For those of you that don't know, AR has watched <laughs> episode seven already. Because a horrible person. Yes, I have. Sadly, there was no song. Pinkie Pie was over-dramatized. Anyway. Well. Let's not worry about that right now. We'll talk about that next week. Um, Of course, they have the top ten songs and top ten videos for the month. Um, And actually, it was funny. I think Saber Spark has mentioned that he is going to do a special for the end of the year. Not only is he going to do um, the same thing for December, but he's also going to do the top 25 songs um, of 2012. So the entire year. I mean, we're talking Lullaby for Princess. Um, Discord was this year also. What was the one? Um, the... the the uh, I'm it was. blanking for some reason, but it, the uh, photo finish one what was that one. Yeah. That, oh, picture perfect pony. That yeah, was that was just uh, last be, month or the month before. That was in October. Um, yeah, that was in October. Uh, yes, really? Discord was only ten months ago, wow. so it was this year. We're I mean, we're gonna get five tons views. of songs because I mean. A year is a long time, and especially with this fandom being... Huh? Rainbow Factory is definitely going to be in there, I bet. Yeah, I mean, this is... Rainbow uh, Factory is probably going to be Pretty in much there. all of the good, the really, really good popular songs have come up this year. Um, Discord is probably going to be on there. Discord Euro yeah, the original, is very popular I don't know. as well. I don't know if they'll so have both, both versions of Discord the original are more than likely going to be on there. Remix. Remix. I don't see why not. Honestly, they are. If you listen, they to are. Them, they I sound mean, you know, like the completely uh, different songs. the remix that um, Living Tombstone put out was definitely a little bit more upbeat, and um, I actually think I like it a little bit better than than the original. Um. Uh-huh. Uh, what about Twenty Percent Cooler? Oh, you haven't heard that one? I love 20% oh, cooler. Oh, you haven't uh, heard The that Alex one. S. remix, I mean. Nope. I don't really... I don't know. I never really... I don't really like Alex S. I mean, Alex S. Too much. This is, I've this gotten is my to personal listen taste, a lot, uh, to a lot more of his songs. I absolutely love the, uh, the, the song that he did based off of the Sea Serpent scene. Uh, he, he, called, he called it What a World or whatever. That one oh, that really one! I, I love want that. To talk about. I love that song. It's yeah, just funny. Oh, what a world! It, it's funny. I don't. Eh, it was all right, my opinion. But um, there will oh, yeah. definitely be that, that's going to be huge. I, I, I should take a look at. And I'm. I wonder also. Uh, well, that's going to be up have to a top twenty-five videos uh, of the year name? as well. Um, the movie Brony or whatever. Saber Spark. He's going to have to decide. Oh, yeah. I don't see why not. I mean, we're having tough Right, but that might have been Saber Spark's song, personal of of the year also. Um, idea. I don't, I don't know if the movie Brony is going to do the same thing. That wouldn't surprise me if he did, though. I mean, that's honestly a good idea as well. Let's see what we've made from this year. What's the best of the best for the Brony fan base? Which I'm certain uh, yeah, Anthology Pony's 2, Anthology 2 is going to be in one. there if he did that. Um, I, I don't know if they're going to oh, count granted, Picture Perfect Pony. It did make it into, it when, that, when animated, that thing came so. out, it made it as the number one song and the number one video the month that it came out. Oh, maybe, maybe it was the number two Actually, video. wasn't it number two video? I don't know. I think know. it might have been number two was for number both. one for one. It was either number one twice or number two twice. I know it tied for both places it was in. It was first or second for I'm actually really interested category. to see what people come up with in December for like a year in review. Uh, the newest um, Nightly Roundup has something. Um, I, I haven't. I haven't 
looked at it yet, but the, the title is called 2012 Year in Review Pony Parody. Um, I haven't looked at that yet, though. Um, I, I should I should check that out. Hmm. But ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I know at the end of this year, uh, Muffinland Productions having that animated short I was talking about. So that's pretty. Yep. Yeah, that'll be something too. A lot of people are going to do a lot of things for the end of the year. That is a yeah, pretty yeah. cool Twilight Sparkle tattoo. That is that, that's pretty cool. Um, huh. have you seen this animation for how Vinyl does her hair in the morning? It was okay. I haven't seen it yet. So I, I, yeah, I it was all right. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. It was comical. I'm not saying it was horrible. It, it was comical, right. but I don't know. Um. Some of the but biggest things, for it. Or, or I should say one of the biggest things that, that has happened recently is the issue with My Little Pony Online. Um, has been shut down. Oh, yes, MLP Online. Um, do you know the yes, details it has. there? And we discussed this on Muffin Lemon Productions. Uh, yeah, because we discussed it on Muffin Loving Productions. Uh, what happened was with uh, MLP Online, there was a copyright issue with their game name and sort of stuff like that. And at first they thought, okay, maybe it's just, you know, like a troll sort of thing. Because, I mean, you get all, that all the time. You know, copyright will take you down and stuff like that. Uh, but this was actually the real thing for them. And so they went ahead and took the game down first to see if they could get this thing sorted out. Uh, which is just this took the game off, so they can do some other revisions to it as well while they ha- hold it back. Uh, but eventually, you know, they went ahead and just shut out all production because of this um, ish- this um, copyright infringement issue and stuff like that. So MLP Online is no more. Their game is no longer available. Uh, I'm pretty certain there may be a few people who might bring it back up if they already own it. Because personally. Um, I or I still own episode one on my computer. I'm able to play it, the whole version of it, because I thankfully downloaded it before this whole issue arose. But if you're one of the lucky ones with the game still, good for you. If you don't own it, then sorry to so say no, you won't do be other able to find it for a long while. Like you know, Philly Games with Welcome to Pointyville and like My Little Investigations. Do they have to worry about the same type of thing? I'm not certain entirely. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what the exact details of the copyright because there there are a lot of different copyright um, infringements that you can get. It's not just certain things. I mean, um, if they do things correctly, you should be able to do fine with a fan made game that doesn't make profit um, normally, as long as you don't. Own, I mean. All the copyright details you can buy, not domain stuff, but there's there's things you can go through to get everything done correctly. You don't have to worry about copyright infringement, basically. And I'm not certain what the details were on what issues that yeah, MLP Online didn't go had into were. Too much detail about exactly what happened. Um. Yeah. But um, don't fear, because there are other pony games coming around. And also, there was some news that MLP Online's developing team is staying together. Actually, um, they bit this most uh, quite a few have disbanded from the project, but around eighty to eighty-five percent have stayed as a whole team, and they are actually working on something else. That's and they will have team? a surprise for us summer next year. Um. It's good to hear that when, when something like this happens, um, they can still come out with, you know, something. Now, yeah. um, as for some other things that have come out, um, Pony in the Box Productions um has brought out their new Daring Do series. Yes, apparently the first episode of Daring Do Adventures is actually going to be Daring Do and the Sapphire Stone. Uh, Whether it 
follows the exact same thing that we saw in the yeah, uh, I believe episode. Well, I mean, it'll probably go into more detail. I'm pretty than that certain it will. Here. Yeah. Yeah, of course. It'll go into more detail the actual episode from the show. Because there's a whole book that wasn't covered. I mean, why she fell out of the sky with a broken wing and how she ended up there. I'm certain they'll give backstory as to her adventuring, becoming adventurer sort of thing. Because right. it is the and first book in the series, see, according it, to Twilight Sparkle. Um, well, it's and funny because when, so when the audition came up for, for this, there's um, a lot of parts that they had auditions for that you don't hear about in you know in the episode um such as like uh, the, the the pilot is uh, for the plane that she flies in is called Swiftwing um there's um other teachers at school that that she that she teaches at just like uh, Indiana Jones does in um in his movies as well he he teaches at a school as, as well um yeah well, i was going to say they're going to base it the whole mostly idea. off i mean of being the daring do is jones, a so. playoff of indiana jones they've got yeah, to of course. make this series based off of the the movies set the same way uh-huh um have you Listen but to yeah. uh, Amanda Pony's new song. He brought out a song called Song of the Night. Apparently he says he's going to start uh, doing what he did no, last season and bring out songs for each episode. This one will be for um, Scootaloo's episode. And um, it was okay. Well, yeah. it, it was definitely not his, one of his best songs. But um, it was... Uh, very, it was very soft and soothing, and uh, definitely a good, good song to listen to at night. Uh huh. Which it is nighttime, but um, yes, I'm gonna order that drink right after this thingy. I guess I can order it now. No, my wallet is not next to me. Oh well. Um, they brought out a, a interesting comic. Um, called Stephen King's Sleepless in Ponyville, uh, where it's just it's just uh, Scootaloo sitting Hello? in bed, and um, she has Rainbow Dash come in to check underneath her bed to see if there's any monsters there, and she said, "No, no, no monsters are there," but uh, they have Mayor Mayor in her clown costume standing next to Scootaloo's bed. <laughs> And then, like this tentacle rises out of huh. her, uh, out of her afro or whatever, and it's like, what? But that's that's Pixel Kitties for you. She's kind of interesting. Indeed. So, yeah, I mean that's that's pretty much. I think all we're about there done. is um, that that's new to talk about. Covered a lot, made fun of each other, had a laugh, didn't drink anything, and still laughed at each other. But uh, there will be more of this. Um, Obviously, we'll have our episode next week. We're going to have to go over episode 7. Don't watch it! I'm waiting until Saturday to actually see it. Woo! Um, Well, I guess it is Friday. So you mean tomorrow? So yeah, I guess tomorrow, uh, about mm-hmm. 24, 30 hours, 30, 30 and a half hours from now, something like that. All right, so, yep. that should be it, um, we'll see you so. next week, until then I'm Lightning. Like when you're stuck on a mountain You try to go up, you try to go down You turn around to face the wall So you can face yourself Realizing you made a mistake Hey, you are being stuck on the moon Like the rest of us Trying to make sense of it Crying cause we don't have any reason We're alone together Cause we all share the very same crime Some will say that this is not gonna last long Some will say that if we try We can't go wrong
as time goes on, we are not leaving this place Cause when we all come back, we lose the track of time and space Share the very same 